What's up YouTube, this is Next Era Gaming and I'm Xander and today we have the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Shadal Showdown. This honestly has some of the best reprints I've ever seen in a structure deck and uh, today we're just going to go inside what's in one of them and then the goal is I'm going to build a $30 uh, what's the budget build where you can just build a deck with a three. Uh, that will be in my next video and then the video after that I'm going to try to make a competitive Shadal deck. So that's the goal. Without further ado, let's go ahead and crack one of these bad boys open and see what you get when you get one of these. So I know a few of the reprints that are in here are really amazing. I don't know much about the Shadal stuff because I'm not that big of a Shadal fan, but who knows with this new structure deck, maybe I will be. All right, so it does come with the traditional beginner's guide. I'm just gonna show that right there. For people who are learning how to play the game, it has some combo ideas and all the summoning requirements and stuff like that so and then of course we do have the paper play mat that comes with the structure deck let me just show it off a little bit if it would uh, open all the way it's very nice very nice probably look a lot better as a uh, cloth mat but that's fine we do have that so that's pretty nice. All right. And then we have the deck itself with the Duel Link promo on there. I really wish they would start doing with uh, with Duel Links what they do. Uh, sorry about that. As I was saying uh, before my I had technical difficulties, I really wish they would start doing with Duel Links what they do with the Pokemon codes where, you know, there'd be a code on here and we could uh, flash that and it would give like gems to whoever plays. But anyways... Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So we have the first monster, which is a fusion. It's El Shadal Garista. I don't know if this is a new one or old one. Once again, I really don't know anything about the Shadals. Basically, it requires one Shadal monster and one fire type monster. Uh, must be first fusion summon when your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters while you control a Shadal card and you, while you have a Shadal card in your hand. Quick effect. Negate the summon. If you do, destroy that monster. Then send one Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of El Shadal Grista once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell or trap card in your graveyard added to your hand. So that's pretty nice. Once again, I'm not too familiar with how the Shadals work, so I'm just gonna kind of go over a few of them while we play or while we go through this, and then I'll, I'll go I'll go over them a little bit better more whenever I make the the deck. But this is El Shadal Apocalone. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, requires two Shadal monsters with different attributes. So a lot of fusion summoning going on in this deck. El Shadal Construct. This is a new art for the card. It's really nice looking. Of course this says uh, this card right here. If this card, or it must be fusion summon, and you use a Shadal monster and a light monster, if this card is special summon, you can send one Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard at the start of the damage step. If this card battles a special summon monster, destroy that monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell or trap card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So a lot of recursion going on here. But once again, we'll go over these guys a lot more whenever it comes time to uh, make the deck. Then we have Quad Shadal. Kios, I guess this is one of the new guys. He has a flip effect. You can special summon one Shadal monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send one Shadal monster from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level of the monster sent to the graveyard times 100. And then you can only use this card's effect once per turn and only once that turn. Or you can only use one effect, so you can't do the flip and the send. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. And then Rishadal Windy. This is another one that's new, I believe. Flip summon. Or sorry, flip effect. You can special summon one Shadal monster from your deck in face up or face down defense position, except for Rishadal Windy. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Shadal monster from your deck in face up defense position, except Rishadal Windy. You can only use this effect of reach it all. You can only use one effect 
once again, just like the other one, only once per turn. So that's nice, and the artwork on this is beautiful. I really like the artwork. Very good, super rare. And then Nile Shadal, or Neil Shadal, Ariel, Water Monster, another new one, I believe. Uh, flip effect, you can target one one of your banished Shadal monsters, special summon it face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target up to three cards in your graveyard, banish them. Okay, and then you banish them, okay. So yeah, you can only use one effect of her per turn and only once per turn. So that's pretty cool looking. Once again, love the artwork on these cards. Reshadal Incarnation, sorry about that. Target one Shadal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in face up or face down defense position. So it's like a, it's like a monster reborn or called by the grave, I should say, because it's a trap. You can banish this card and one Shadal card from your graveyard, then activate one of these effects. You can either change one face down monster you control to face up defense, or one face up monster you control to face down defense position. And you can only use one effect and only once per turn. So, kind of a nice little uh, theme going on with the deck. <clears throat> and then we have El Shadal Winda with the new alternate art. Pretty nice looking. Of course, you guys probably know what this one does, but in case you didn't, it basically locks it where you can only summon special summon monsters once per turn while she's face up on the field. And then we have El Shadal Shekinaga. Shekinaga? I don't know how to pronounce that one, but I believe this is an alternate art too. All right. Shadal Fusion. Of course, this one's been around for a while. Very important in the deck. All right, and then we get into the monsters and the commons. We have Shadal Falco, reprint. I believe this card is a two of in the deck. Hedgehog, Squamata, Dragon. I believe Squamata is the best card in in uh, Shadal. I'm not 100% sure, though. Once again, I'm not a Shadal player. So please let me know below what you guys think the best card in the, the Shadal stuff is. Then we got Shadal Beast, Shadal Hound. Shadal Zephra Zephra Anga. Okay. Shadal Zephra Core. Alright, and then once again, going back to how this has so many good reprints. This is one of the reasons why I think even if you're not a Shadal player, you should uh you should go invest in this because you not only do you get a Shadal core that you maybe you'd be interested in, but you get a reprint of Blacklisted Soldier Envoy of the Beginning guaranteed in it. That's such a good reprint. And then Lava Golem. Lava Golem. Another really great reprint to be getting in here. Dark Arm Dragon, newly unlimited card. So great to be getting all these really good generic staples in here. But uh just just so good. And then Fairy Tale Sleeper. Perform a pal trick clown. Good card, good card. Used in uh both this and in uh Light Swords, of course. Armageddon Knight reprint, really good card. We've seen a lot of him in uh, meta decks over the past couple years. Uh, Felis, Light Sworn Archer. Electromagnetic Turtle. Mathematician, really good card. Uh, one of the best cards in this deck, of course. Cree Bandit. Per Perupolo Serperus. I've never seen this one before. If you take damage by battle or an opponent's card effect while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard, then target one card in the field, destroy it. Alright, so that's pretty nice. Pretty good. Curse of the Shadow Prison. El Shadal Fusion. Of course, needed in Shadal. Knife Shadal Prison. Neef, Neef Shadal Prison. Fusion, sorry. Sorry about some of the uh, butcherings of some of these cards. I'm pretty bad at reading some of these names, I'm not going to lie. And Super Poly, of course, this is a really, really good card to be getting reprinted. Instant Fusion, another great card to be reprinted. That's what I'm saying. There's so many, like, even if you're, some of these cards by themselves were worth more than this deck was before this deck came out. So this is really good to invest in. Allure of Darkness, amazing, amazing staple card. Foolish Burial, can't go wrong with Foolish Burial. Living Fossil, really good for people, especially if you play uh, like a Zold and anything. Of course, you wouldn't play that in this though, so. Pot of Avarice, just newly limited off the uh, Forbidden list, so really good card to be getting in here. Twin Twister, really good against back row decks. Alter Guys running around right now. 
It's really good. Shadal Core. Sinister Shadow Games. Pura Shadal Aeon. Target one Shadal monster you control. Send one Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, the targeted monster gains a thousand attack and defense. But it is changed to face down defense position during the end phase. Lost Wind, another really good reprint. Unending Nightmare could be really good. Necrofusion, Subterra Succession. And then we got a El, Shad El Shadal Wendigo. And a El Shadal Analytis. An Anali yeah, yeah, that, the Water El Shadal. And then Shadal Construct, the Link Monster, which honestly, the $30 budget build will probably not be that great because all we have is the two side arrows, but we're going to try to give it a crack. But yeah, like I said, even if you're not going to play the Shadal stuff, you could definitely look at all these really good staple cards that you get just for $10 by buying one of these. Definitely worth the buy. And then you have a Shadal core in case it ever becomes something super meta relevant. Or if you have a friend who's interested in Shadals or somebody who can't pick up the deck that you know will trade a lot for it. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you guys really like this. Like I said, I'm going to try the $30 budget build, try to have it up sometime this week, and then a competitive version of the deck. Um, I'd, I'm going to try to see if I can do that. But uh, um, huge shout out to my good friend Ricky for making my intro that is going to first be featured on this video. And if you guys liked all this, if you guys uh, don't mind leaving me a comment, let me know what you guys think, some ways I could improve, just different things you guys would like me to know. And if you guys really liked it, please just hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing. And we'll be back with more.